So I didn't know that I wanted to go into journalism until my second year of college, which is like really leaving it last minute. Um, to be honest, like, I think I didn't really have an understanding of what journalism was before then. I didn't really know that there were so many different fields. So I think if I'd known what I know now, I, it would have made sense. Like I would have been like, okay, I can see myself doing that. But because I didn't know this then, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but there are a few things that helped. Um, I did sociology at college and one of the modules was about the media. And I remember that sort of gave me an interest. Um, and also at the time, I remember it was the beginning of the um, civil war in Syria and I have family there. So I remember like I, I was really intrigued to kind of follow up with the news of that because it was affecting my family. Um, so I think that kind of helped me become more interested in news as well. And then it just kind of went on from there, really. I can't stress how important work experience is. Like if it wasn't for work experience, I would not know what I wanted to do. I think it helped me to kind of just go into, so for, like, for example, I did um, a placement at a magazine, which is actually what I thought I wanted to do. So when I started my degree, I initially thought that I wanted to be a fashion journalist and work for a magazine. Um, and then I did that as a placement and it, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought it would. So then what I did was I did a placement at a newspaper and I liked that more, but it still wasn't what I wanted. And then I did radio and then I did TV and then I knew that TV is where I wanted to be. So I think work experience is the best way to do it, because if you don't try something, you can't you will not know whether you, you're going to enjoy it or not, because it's different for different people. I think when you don't try things, you have an idea of what you think it's like. Uh, and sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes it's not as good as you thought. And sometimes it's better. But unless you try it, you'll never know. I mean, I appreciate how hard it is, because to be honest, like, even when I was younger, I didn't get like, the amazing work I, I did not get work experience at ITV or BBC or Sky or any of these like big big um, companies so I understand how hard it is but I think it's really important to remember that it doesn't matter if it's a local radio or a, a local newspaper experience is experience and it will still make a difference on your CV so I think it's I think it's you have to reach out to people as well because they're not really going to come to you they're not people aren't going to message you and say hey like come over you know um so I think you just have to reach out to people and I know like how it is a bit scary and it is kind of you know you feel awkward you don't know what to say and like I remember like when I used to do it and I would like ask if I could like come in for a day just to like have a look and see how they like do the paper and things like that but I didn't have um obviously I didn't have any work experience that was I, I guess I didn't have I couldn't really sell myself because I thought I don't have anything to like prove to them that I'm like good enough kind of thing but do you know what most people appreciate it and the worst that they can say is no and fine you just move on to someone else just email someone else it's fine you know it's not the end of the world they'll have loads of people that they've turned down so it's not you it's just them so it's fine just find someone else when you watch yourself back um, you will learn a lot about yourself as in like what you think comes across as like natural because I think with presenting the whole point is basically to make it conversational you're, you're speaking to someone so you want to you don't want to sound like a robot and you don't want to come across as like just like you've got no emotion kind of thing um so it's really important to watch your back watch your facial expressions watch how you deliver certain stories um so I think watching yourself back definitely helps um presenting is it's very different for different people because I think it's really important to have your own style um well you can take things from other people that you think you know like for example you can think well I really like the way that this person delivered a story because they showed a lot of emotion or they really explained it well you know things like that are good to pick up but you can't people have different ways of saying things like different tones and you just have to be natural you have to be yourself I think that <clears throat> ever since I joined um, the journalism industry the whole idea of making it more diverse like I remember like from the beginning it's always been a talking point so it's always been something that like people are trying to improve so I think people are doing something about it but as as in every industry there's still a lot that needs to be done um, I think 
as you mentioned, you know, the fact that the, my accent is still a talking point sometimes to other people is, yeah, it does show that there needs to be more um, done really. And there needs to be more people that have regional accents on news um, because you have to mirror the nation and the entire country don't sound the same. You know, people are from different places. People look different, people sound different. And it's really important, especially in news to mirror your audience. Um, so yes, I do think that diversity is something that needs to improve, but I think that's just something that needs to improve in everything, really. Yeah, so it really does depend. It's kind of like, you know, as um, as your role, you know, you're there to inform people. So if there's something that you think people need to know, um, they need to know when the national lockdown begins or when it ends or what the rules mean or what you can and can't do. So that's really important. So you have to obviously consider that. And then there's the other side of it of, you know, what's everyone talking about online? What's trending? What do people want to know more about? So sometimes that is celebrity stories and things like that. But I think the difference between that is that sometimes the popular stories can sometimes be a little bit more positive than the news of, oh, this is going to happen. This has happened. That ha has happened. So it's, it's really important to have a balance. And I think for young people, um, based on like the research that we did before launching the show, um, people are interested in both. Um, they're interested in what's happening in the world, but they're also interested in Fortnite or, you know, yeah, Cardi B, all that stuff really. So it, it's a, you have to get the right balance, I think. No, I'm not done. I actually really wanted to do a master's this year um, and I looked into it, but unfortunately, um, if you do a part-time master's, like I work full-time, so it just wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, I have, I would not rule that out because I really do want to go back to studying. Um, but I think, I don't think that I would leave work for it though. So I think I would do it with my work. I quite like the more like serious type of news. Um, I know some people might find that boring, but I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's more exciting when it's things about, um, I think, we don't do a lot of political stories for um, The Rundown, but when we do, the reason why I like it is because the way that you um, need to project these stories to a younger audience is by making sure that you understand it yourself so that you can make them understand it. And I think why I like that is because we say it in such a simplified way. We literally tell you what you need to know and like leave out all the unnecessary stuff. And I find that just... It, it kind of brings more of an interest into politics because we're not using like big words that people don't understand and even if we do we will tell you what it means so I think I don't know I quite like doing things like that I find it challenging for myself because a lot of it is um even complicated for me like even when I did the U.S. elections I had to like really get my head around that because the U.S. elections is so different to how we do the elections here um but I think it was challenging for me to make sure that I understand it so that other people can um, so yeah, I quite like that challenge. So I'd probably say like political stories, that kind of thing. It's never laid back. Journalism is never laid back. And if someone tells you it is, like they're lying. Because if, actually it depends on where they're working, but I will tell you news, especially like daily news, it's never laid back because you can't, you know, you go into work or you start your day and you have no idea what is going to happen, what is going to break, how you're going to react to it. Um, so no, it's definitely not laid back. But when it comes to journalism, I would say, yes, it is a competitive industry. Um, I think it depends on how you look at that. Some people think that that's a positive thing and some people think that's a negative thing. I think that there's good and bad to it, really. Um, I think that it's good because it keeps pushing you and it will keep you motivated and driven. Um, and I think it's bad sometimes because it can kind of uh, ruin people's confidence and it can kind of push people back. But I would say that, you know, competition is good and it's not it's not like unhealthy competition. It's just kind of like, obviously, you know, people want to do the best that they can in their own role. And I think people should be like that in general anyway so I think it's it's like good competition I think making I think it's more like competitive for your, within yourself like you're not like even for my for myself like I don't really I'm not in competition with anyone else but I just always think that I need to be the best that I can be I'm almost just try, trying to compete with who I am if that makes sense as, as a journalist and just trying to make sure like you know have I gained more skills in this like am I learning more in this and just constantly trying to improve myself
There isn't a story that I would refuse to cover. Um, if there's something that you think, oh, well, you know, this isn't really news, it might not be news to you and it might be to someone else. So it's not about you. You have to remember that this is for the audience. So like, you know, there might be stories that I might do and I have to bear in mind that it's for a younger audience. So yeah, maybe someone my age or people who are older might not be interested, but you have to remember who you're making the news for. So I wouldn't refuse a story. Um, my least favourite to cover, it's not my least favourite, but sometimes there are celebrity stories that I question, sometimes. <laughs> Um, I mean, you feel the pressure of the deadline anyway, every day, because we have to publish at a certain time and we have to have it out um, sort of 3.45ish. Um, lately, we've been getting it out earlier than that, but usually when we're back in the office, because of like the time that it takes to um, be in the studio and like, and if I'm not presenting, I have to w work the gallery for the other presenter. So, you know, you're constantly doing something and it does obviously add up and then, sometimes it's tight to the deadline so there is a pressure in that every day um the, the only pressure really is if there's breaking news so if there's something that you have to get out then you have to just quickly act but it's happened a few times now that it's kind of obvious what you have to do you, you will know what to do and that is sometimes whether it's dropping a story um or just having to be prepared for one so for example um yesterday when I was working we were waiting for a court hearing to come back so what I did was I just scripted this the script um obviously just what I wrote something that I could tweak later on I edited the pictures because I knew those weren't going to change and then it was just a matter of re-recording my voice um so you just have to act really quickly so yes there is pressure um but it's good pressure because to be honest that's the excitement of news and that's the excitement of journalism so I think once there isn't breaking news and once you don't do it as often you'll miss that so it's really nice when there is basically i think as i said i like i really want to um do more work on international stories um i would love to travel for work meet different communities meet different people um i would love to bring light to certain stories that maybe don't get enough um awareness on the news um I would love to do documentaries um and I guess my goal is to kind of try different things I would also really like to write things um I kind of just want to like try different things um so there isn't really there, I wouldn't say there is one goal but I think that's the beauty of journalism because you can do different things at the same time especially like if you work for um, a TV station, because a lot of them have um, like their own website and things like that. So you can take part and join into different teams and different departments. Um, but I think, yeah, I would, I would definitely love to do documentaries and more international stories. Mm -hmm.